Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of all ages. My name is Ian and welcome to first of many uh, the West Ham predicted lineup or how I would line up West Ham in our upcoming game which this weekend is against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, it's going to be a difficult game uh, and there are a number of key people missing in our squad at the moment. Um, I mean I've recorded this a few days before so there may be more missing. Um, what I've done is taken it on whoever is available right now uh, to be able to be up for selection. Uh, when I say there's key people missing, we've had three positive COVID tests in, well, just before the whole game. Um, so we're missing one, our manager, David Moyes, two, uh, Issa Diop, who's been sort of a mainstay of our defence for the last uh, season at least, um, and three, Josh Cullen, who is, uh, well, he's not really young anymore, but he's an exciting player who should be playing more. I was quite excited to see play against Hull, um, but that didn't happen for obvious reasons. Um, if you haven't already, go and follow us on Twitter um, and join in the conversation there. And let me know down below what you think and if your lineup differs from what mine is. So we're going to start with the goalkeeper, work our way through the defence, midfield, strikers and substitutions, as well as a formation that I think we should play and why and the sort of game plan that we should go for. Um, now to start off with in goal, I'm going to go with the man who should always be there unless he's injured and that is Lucas Fabianski. Um, he has been fantastic for us uh, for the last couple of seasons since we signed him, absolute bargain buy um, and hasn't let us down. Now in defence we were played against Arsenal very well um, and we had a five person defence, uh, three centre backs and two wing backs and I've gone for staying with that at the moment. Um, just because it made us a lot more solid and gave us a few options going forward um, without committing too many bodies. Um, so I've gone with Ben Johnson, Fabian Balwena, Angelo Ogbonna, Aaron Cresswell and Arthur Masuaku. Um, now, usually I would take out Balwena and put in the op, but for reasons mentioned before, he's unavailable for selection. A lot of people say Ryan Frederick has got a lot more pace than Ben Johnson, a lot more experience than Ben Johnson. Um, but in the last two games, he should have received two red cards. And I VAR, how they haven't picked either of those up. One was a two-footed challenge, the other was a really high boot and an uncontrolled tackle. How he hasn't been sent off, it's just unbelievable to me. Um, so I think those those in there, there is an, enough experience about... Um, to help Ben Johnson. He has played some really good games for us. It's time to start giving him more starts, more game experience. Um, it's done wonders for Declan Rice, so it could do the same for him. Now we move into midfield and we mentioned Declan Rice. He obviously was the first name on the team sheet. You can't go without him. Um, I've gone with a midfield three here of Declan Rice, Thomas Socek and Pablo Fornaus. Um, now you may be going, hmm, well that doesn't leave much room for wingers. We'll get on to that. I don't think you can drop either of Declan Rice or Thomas Socek at the moment. They're both playing phenomenally. Declan Rice is one. He's our vice captain um, and will be the captain on the day. Uh, Thomas Socek is just well, he's another level, isn't he? I think we've done fantastically to one, get him on loan. He's worked out and we've managed to make him a permanent signing. Um, so some, some blistering runs forward from him. Um, I don't know whether it will play in exactly this formation is a free Declan Rice may be pulled a little bit further back uh, for now and so check a little bit further forward but we'll wait and see uh, and up front I've gone with a front two in Mikel Antonio uh, nine goals in nine games you can't fault him you can't drop him um, and Hanna has scored two against Hull one against Charlton he's looking like he could I mean I know that's lesser opposition than Wolves but he's looking sharper so let's give him a game. He likes playing with a partner. So putting in Antonio there would be fantastic. Now we'll get on to some substitutions then I'll go through some of the tactics I think we may uh, put out on the on the weekend. Um, substitutes. Nathan Trott. Darren Randolph. Uh, didn't impress me the first time he was at West Ham and he doesn't impress me now. Especially after the goal he conceded against Hull. Um, should have been an easy save but it didn't. Uh, on the left there, we've got Cardoso, a young player who we signed 
beginning of last season. Um, he's been playing in the under-23s and has impressed me. I think he should be at least getting on the bench, if not starting some of these games. Um, Mark Noble, obviously Captain Fantastic, Mr. West Ham. Always reliable, always should be on the bench if, if he's not starting. Um, it's coming to the, obviously the twilight years of his career, so having him on the bench I think is a, is a good option. Uh, you've got the three sort of more attacking midfielders there, although Snodgrass can play a little bit further back. Um, in Jared Bowen, Robert Snodgrass, Emmanuel Lanzini. Gives you a little bit of creativity, gives you the options then to change the um, game. And we've got uh, our super sub in Yarmolenko there, who also comes on most games to score a goal. Um, so it gives us some options there to... Uh, do other stuff and change the formation and adapt to the game as we need to. Now, what I'm suggesting with this lineup is that Masuaku is going to make these runs up and down this wing. So I think he's more going to play sort of here, which means Aaron Cresswell can kick out and so can Og Ogbonna and Ben Johnson, in that case, will come back. So it, we won't. Oh, defence is pushing up there. Um, with Masuaku, I can see him sort of making these runs. He's fantastic at, at pushing forward. Um, but he also lacks a little bit of defensiveness. So putting him on that wing there, for me, is, is why I've done that. I imagine Ben Johnson will start, obviously, um, making some of those runs as well as we go on. And say so he will push up. But he, defensively, a lot more sound. Um, now, what I was going on about with the midfield was Declan Rice. Yes, we see him playing with Thomas Sojic. He may play here, which will obviously give Fournals and Sojic the opportunity to go forward. It also gives, uh, obviously, the back free chance if the, both of these players push on as well. You've got a hell of a counter-attack there, and obviously they'll, they'll, they'll spread a little bit wider um, before... Obviously falling back. It's going to be a very difficult game against Wolves. They are tenacious and they don't stop. Um, and they have got some quality. So you think if, if one of these two, uh, either Masuaku or Cresswell, is marking uh, Amada Troy or A for a whole game, then it gives the other one the opportunity to get forward a bit more on the counter-attack. Now, we've said about the strikers here. We've got Antonio who can play out this way. Um let's move let's move him back shall we let's move mr sochek making these runs into the box so we could we could see it like that with the antonio with the free roll sort of in and around moving around which i think is more than likely because mr sebastian hanna is a big lump um but he say moving around him like that push it in push him around um i do think we can well i hope we're gonna get some goals Especially if we play two up top with a counter attack. I mean, they've, they've got some good players. Balls. But we need to start putting some points on the board. And it's going to be very difficult if we don't do that. Um, who's going to come on? I just think it, it depends on, on how we're playing. If, if, we're, if we're playing really well again, then, then say Yarmolenko come on for Antonio. And maybe a, a Jared Bowen for, for four nows. And we, we play within two wingers. Um and play almost a, a four uh, well play, yeah just play with two wingers three up front three up front Snodgrass can come on as well uh, as a winger on midfield so can Lanzini um, hopefully we don't have any injuries at the time uh, but say it just depends on what the game does um, if we come out of it with a point I think most West Ham's will be happy at that most West Ham fans most West Ham fans will be happy at that just because Wolves is such a difficult game um Oh, oh, it's nerve-wracking, isn't it? But say, let me know below, in the comments below, if you think I've got it wrong, or why you think I've got it wrong, and what your suggestions would be, how you would change this system. Um, be interested to know. If you have liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It will be much appreciated. Hopefully, we'll see you on Monday for the podcast, or on Tuesday for the podcast, even though it's recorded on a Monday. Uh, with a big smile on their face because we have got the win. I want your irons.